alaikum. Uh, today we are starting future continues where in this lecture we will learn one difference that uh, what is the main difference between future continues and future indefinite as we know that we use future indefinite for uh, future and future continues obviously by name in, by name it's showing that it will be used in future so it, it may be their difference so we will discuss in this lecture uh, first of all, uh, we are starting here the usage of future continuous. Future continuous stance indicates that something will occur in the future and continue for an expected length of time. It means uh, we are talking about an action that will start in future but it will not be completed. It will be continue for a length of time. For some time it will be continue. Future continuous versus future indefinite. We use future indefinite when an action will start in future and will be completed. So here is the main difference that we uh, when we talk about the future indefinite, we are talking about that action that will start in future and will be completed. It will not be continued for the length of time. Uh, let's continue the reading. On the other hand, Future continues uh, when an action will start in future but complete after the length of time. So dear students, have you noticed the big difference uh, of future continuous and future indefinite? That we use future indefinite when we are sure that action will start in future and will be completed. But uh, we use future continuous for that actions uh, that will start in future and uh, uh, continue for some time, continue for some length of time. Uh, let's take an example. I will cook food. Here we are talking about action that will start in future and will be completed. On the next sentence, I will be cooking food. It's a future continuous sentence. And here we are showing that action will start in future and continue for some time. So uh, are you making some sense that uh, in which sense uh, you will use future indefinite and in which sense you are using uh, future continuous. If you are talking about uh, our work which we, we, you will do in future and which will be continue. It will not be completed. It will be continue. So you will use the structure of future continuous. But you are sure that you uh, start your work in future and it will be completed so if you will use the structure future indefinite uh, I will be I will cook dinner tonight at 6 p.m. it's a sentence of simple future means future indefinite I will cook dinner tonight at 6 p.m. it means that we are talking about uh, in the sense that uh, I will start uh, cooking in the future and it will be completed on the other hand, I will be cooking dinner at around 6 p.m. It's showing that uh, I will start uh, at uh, uh, 6 p.m. Uh, to cook and it will be continue for some length of time. So uh, uh, here is a difference of sense in which we are talking. Uh, a structure with examples. Affirmative structure. Uh, we will use subject, then will and be. In uh, remember in future indefinite we never use be be is always used in the future continuous tense subject will then be and then work first form and we will uh, add ing form in it and then object here are some examples uh, she will be cooking for us Fezan will be coming next week you will be stitching my dress tonight so uh, here uh, if uh, you are noticing that uh, we are using uh, this uh, structure, this sentence, uh, I mean future continuous, we are using for some specific time. It means that we are denoting any time that uh, in uh, that next week, tonight, so uh, we are, uh, we are uh, here denoting the future time and then we are talking about the action which we will take place. In negative, uh, only not will be added and not will not come after the B. Like uh, take the example of uh, first example, he will not be studying uh, tonight. So if I make this sentence like this, he will be not studying, he will 
be not studying tonight so it's a grammatical mistakes most of the students make mistake here they become confused that either uh, use uh, not before be or after be so remember one rule of english here that not will always use with the helping verb uh, i am again repeating that not will always use with a uh, helping verb what happen when two or three helping verb are there so here is a rule of english that we use not with first helping verb like uh, if the sentence is um, he will have uh, been he will have been so will is the first helping verb has a second uh, helping verb and been is a third helping verb so where uh, we, we will use not so rule says that use not with first helping verb that is will he will not have been like this but it it it, it, it is not a part of your course uh, it's just uh, for the knowledge uh, i am giving uh, you the concept here so here not will always use with the helping verb my cat will not be taking milk they will not be playing cricket interrogative in interrogative we always know that we start our sentence with the helping verb that is here will will after subject then be and then verb first form then we will join ing and an object and the question mark so here are the examples uh, will you be coming in the party uh, will she be traveling this weekend will we be going for a picnic tomorrow so these are the sentences these are the examples of the interrogative and uh, if you feel uh, if you feel any confusion or um, uh, if you need any detail uh, so you may ask uh, so uh, make your concepts here and just um, clarify uh, your uh, clarify the sense in which you are using and tense here we have completed our continuous tense so uh, just learn the usage of all the tenses so it will clear clarify your sense that uh, when when and where in which situation you have to use tenses so i hope uh, you have uh, learned and uh, you, in this lecture we have learned the difference of the present and uh, sorry future indefinite and future continuous thank you